I accept that I ought to have had greater oversight uh, over my former chief of staff and over the process. And to Ontarians, I want to say very sincerely that I apologize that I did not. The integrity commissioner said he put his head in the sand. I would say that this minister, with 40 years experience, knew what he carried to cabinet, knew what he asked his cabinet colleagues to support. And to say here that he needs to fix the process is not accepting responsibility. He said, I accept responsibility, but there's no consequence. I don't believe in the Westminster principle anymore of ministerial accountability. I did for a long time. What he did was wrong. What he did was fail the people of Ontario. He failed this legislature. And he should have stepped down today. It's never been about housing. It's about a government that is denying ordinary Ontarians access to the homes they need because wealthy, elite insiders came calling. The reason this government is failing to address the housing crisis is because they're more focused on helping a handful of wealthy, well-connected insiders cash in $8.3 billion than they are in actually building homes that people can afford in the communities that they want to live in. And the rest of us are paying the price for that. The Premier has failed the accountability test. The Minister has failed the accountability test. And that is why we are calling for the Minister to be removed from Cabinet. And it's also why we're calling for an independent public inquiry.